that they might drink. Auctioning blocks. Mm -hmm. Down south, all right, auctioning blocks. Okay, you had um, auctioning blocks not only down south, you had them in Boston, Massachusetts. All right, you had them in the New, the New England area. I'm going to say that, okay? You had auctioning blocks, okay, selling um the, the Portuguese. All right, well, well um, matter of fact, one of my grandmothers uh, was sold to a, to a pork shop. <laughs> I like calling them pork shops. It was sold to a pork shop. All right, she came from the west coast of, um, of Africa. We're Angola. She's a so-called Negro. If I also saw your picture, huh? All right, got the features and all that. And she don't look like no damn hair mite, okay? But they did it. They sold the what for, a, oh, read that again now. It says, and they have cast lots for my people and I've given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. What, buck, buck breaking? Down south, they did that too. They'll, they'll, uh, they'll violate, okay, uh, a child in front of his father and mother. Okay, turn these uh, Israelite boys into what? Homos. Just like they did back in Greece. Okay, just like the, the, the Greasers did. Okay, they, they did it back in the, in the ancient world. You had, um, uh, we, we, we were pretty much, um, pretty much don't, didn't want to wear our customs. We were, we're like short togas and stuff like that. Okay, like, like pretty much uh, uh, be assimilated into Roman or Greek customs. All right. Helen, Hellenization. Yeah, and what have ye to do with me or Tyree and Zidon? Hamite nations. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the uh, uh, the Edomites, the Ishmaelites, and the Hamites sold the Israelites into captivity during the um, Atlantic slave trade. And guess what? It even goes beyond before that. Yeah. Okay, really the southern kingdom was being sold way before that too. But the main point of... of, of uh, the Atlantic slave trade was in 1619 when really they pretty much picked up the pace and started selling us all over the place. All right, because you had um uh, got the book at home, the East African slave trade, Adin Yemen, uh, Adin I believe it's uh, spelled Adin Yemen, which is in Yemen, which were Ishmaelites. Okay, you got uh, Edomites there too. That okay, they might appear Dang, to but yeah. but Yemen they were um selling slaves from Yemen. Going into, um, they had an agreement with the Portuguese, even before the, uh, actually, yeah, uh, years after that. But the Ishmaelites were selling Israelite slaves already to the east. Hmm. All right, India for spices, okay, um, for gold, for riches, even for coffee. You know what I'm saying? Even for coffee, you know what I'm saying? But these devils were doing that to us, all right? These devils were doing that until this day they, they're doing it, all right? The Atlanta slave trade was brutal as hell until this day. It still runs in our minds. It don't leave us, man. Yep. Verse 4, back at old, uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 4. Yeah, and what have ye to do with me, or Tyree and Zidon? And now if I can make a quick point, too. Bring it out. Um, got it out. Even the brother Calliope always brings it out, too, of how when you think about ethnic cleansing, a lot of times that's you jakes, man. You know? Because you got to remember, when you read the scriptures, it was always Esau, all right? persecuting Israel. No matter where you are, they're going to go there, they're going to persecute you. Okay? So, uh, you know, just a quick point. So it says, yeah, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, and all the coasts of Palestine, will ye render me a recompense? And if ye, recomp and if ye recompense or repay me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Why? Because even until this day, we're found in this devil's hands, man. That's right. And the scripture saying, uh, Exodus 21 and 16, yep. if a man be found, all right, if, if the captive be found in the uh, captor's hands, then he's, he's got to be put to death, man. You know? So it says, because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried it into your temples, my goodly pleasant things. All right. That's history. All right, you got, what, 70 AD? You got the Ark of Titus. All right, you got the time of the Greeks, same thing. They took uh, the gold out of the temple. You got the Babylonian um, um, captivity. They did the same thing. Go to the Metropolitan Museum in New York. Yep. Esau still has gold the, vaults, man. The Assyrian Empire, you can see all that in the, in the museums. It, it's, it's perfectly, you know? You got the uh, Persians, Xerxes, the ram's horns. You got museums that have all that. And I'm not saying... Uh, 
it's, uh, specifically that one, but you got all, all these different museums and landmarks that still prove who this devil is. Like the brother said, the arts of Titus. All right. Um, I remember when I was younger too, I used to watch, um, um, I always knew there was something wrong about this from the spirit. I already knew it. The gladiators, you had like the gladiator games. And um, it goes back to the Romans, how they were bringing you Jakes to fight against lions. Or, you know, because we were strong back then. Best believe we were strong. But we were less, we're, we're, now we're less of stature, like it says in Ezra, Second Ezra 5. Right? We were stronger back then, but these Romans would have lions uh, maul us and pretty much devour us. Okay, going back to what? Alligators? Symbolic. It's all yeah. symbolic. They were yeah. uh, uh, so called um, Negro slaves, all right? Uh, Judites, Judite um, children. And feed them what? To alligators. All right? Not only alligators. Symbolic. Look at the northern kingdom. A pattern with animals. The, the buffaloes. They would kill off the buffalo for your, you won't have enough food supply or clothing. But hey, that makes sense though. It goes right back to what we just read. Right. And verse 3. And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. So basically going to show you that our people was just entertainment for them. You know? So that guy goes uh, hand in hand with the priest, the scriptures. Just like that book of uh, in Babylon, the Timbuktu, that part I was reading about the uh, what the Portuguese did. They will bury somebody and unbury somebody and burn them again. That's brutal, just for, for the spectator's uh, purpose mm -hmm. or to please the uh, a coerce the spectator. Verse, uh, Joel chapter 3, verse 5. It says, Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried it into your temples, my goodly pleasant things. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have he sold unto the Grecians. And if you look at that word Grecians, it goes into the so-called white man Esau. All right. The French, the British, the Portuguese, the um, the Dutch, you name it. They had all part in selling us, okay, and selling us around to each other mm -hmm. and drinking and living in marriage, uh, reaping the benefits of our downfall till this day, wherever you go. And... And it's a fact. They know that. They know that. There's even um, Edomites that are, are trying to repent, but can't repent. All right? They're, try, they're see, seeking it carefully with tears. They say, I'm sorry. Look what we did to. I'm sorry. That's another way to seek to please the poor, by trying to care, carefully um, uh, see something out, okay, um, with, with fa false tears or fake tears to say, look, I'm sorry what we did to your people. This and that, but the Lord don't want to hear that, okay? Um, he requires your blood, like it says in Numbers 35 and 33. You shed blood, your blood got to be shed too. And that's not hate speech. That's a, a, a speech of truth, all right? A speech of truth that you devils know exactly what we're talking about is true, all right? You can flag as many videos as you want, but guess what, though? The information is already out there. The angels carry the word. We right. just stick the thought, and it goes out there. How about that? E and I'll just keep going. It says, verse... There's a lot more than that. Yep. Verse 6. The children also of Judah and, and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians that ye might remove them far from their borders. Behold, I will raise them up. Behold, I will raise them out of the place where the ye have sold them and will return your recompense upon your own head. Slave ships. Remove us far from our borders. Okay? Slave ships. Mm -hmm. When we fled, uh, when we fled, what should we call it, um... Jerusalem, it wasn't on slave, slave ships. Ancient Egypt, we wasn't on slave ships. Okay, it's talking about uh, re remove us far from our border, meaning we're foreign to the, the customs of foreign to our own land that the, the Lord promised to give to his people. That's what it means. We were, we're foreign to our homeland. All right, we were moved by these devils, these other nations, the Africans, the so-called Africans, the uh, so-called um, Arabs, Ishmaelites, the so-called white man Esau, all right, into um, America. That's far from our borders. That's why it says we're pilgrims. Mm -hmm. Going into that word pilgrim strangers. The the gar. Yep. And and again, the Lord says he will return your recompense upon your own head, meaning you're gonna go into slavery. Okay. And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hands of the children of Judah. Slavery. So we gotta go little by little on that. He will sell your sons into the hands of Judah and the children of Israel, meaning it's gonna be Brought, that recompense is going to be brought on you now. All right? So you're going to have to be sold too. And when, when, we're go, when are we going to do that in the kingdom? We're going to do that. We're going to have fun doing it too. It's going to be a special kind of fun. I don't even know if the word fun is even qualified to even fit that description. Or the, you know, but it's going to be very special. Mm-hmm. 
It says, and they shall sell them to the Sabians, to a people far off, for the Lord have spoken it. So here it is. You know, you might be here. Your mom's in, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, you might be here. Your mom's is from uh, Italy. Right. You know, your dad lives in Rome. Right. That's what they did to us. So the Lord is saying he's going to do that to, to you. You split the families up. Abortion is splitting a family up. Abortion is a way, a form of splitting a family up. Because you're separating, um, okay, that child, you're pretty much committing murder. All right, and what? And you split the family up, what? With, with, with men going into the prison systems, all right? Men being thrown in these prison systems over these um, Israelite women. A lot of these Israelite women ain't right in their mind already. Most of them ain't right, all right? And they put the uh, the father in a, they take the father out the household, put him in prison, all right? Or separate the father. He's nowhere to be seen, even if he's in prison or not. He just, it's it's all awkward it's backwards this society is backwards this is proclaim ye this among the gentiles prepare war wake up the mighty men let all the men of war draw near let them come up beat your plowshares into swords and your prony hooks into spears let the weak say i am strong oh. uh, assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen <laughs> And gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Okay, now let's jump to Isaiah 2. We can start from the top. Con, con. Why the Bethlehem Declaration um, it hasn't been peace? How many wars has America fought since they've been a nation? Okay, how many wars has America been involved with um, um, if Israel, so called Israelis, fake Jews needed their help? Plenty of wars. How many wars and, 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 and violence out there throughout the four corners of the earth, throughout the whole world, is nothing but blood being shed, okay? Pl plenty of violence. So that decree or that letter, Balfour Declaration, is a lie, all right? It's, 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 it's going against their own belief and their own policy, their own laws, their own decree. Yep. Isaiah 2 and 1, the word of Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem, and it came to pass... In the last days that the mountains of Yahweh. Wait, 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 wait. So Isaiah prophesied of the last days, meaning the times we're living in now. Why do you think it's so perfectly written like that? In the last days, all right? Shall be the, shall. Yeah, you got it. The last days that the mountain of Yahweh's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above all the hills and all nations shall flow into it. Right, so we're going to be exalted, and you other mountains, the Lord is going to bring up his mountain, which was symbolized to Zion, or a monument of his people, then he's going to bring down what? The mountain of what? Esau. It's going to be stubble, right? The Lord said they should build, and I will destroy it, to be stubble, all right? But the Lord is going to establish his people, and yep. all nations shall flow into it, even um, when we get in the kingdom. All nations, after a thousand years, have to obey these law, statutes, and commandments. They have to follow it. If they don't follow it, guess what though? Every nation that will not um um that scripture says every nation that will not hearken unto thee, that's who thrust uh forget what that's at. Matter of fact, I can look I can look for uh for that. This is uh, uh real quick, so rock eleven and five. Con. Many kings have set upon the ground, and one that was never thought of have won the crown. You got okay. It. Many mighty men have been greatly disgraced and the honorable delivered into other men's hands. All right. So basically saying, you know, hey, there's no peace to the wicked. Esau's not going to receive that peace that he so so desperately wants. You know, the scriptures say he also did get a blessing. He got the uh, he, he Esau got a blessing as well, but his blessing was only temporary. All right. Our blessing is eternal. His is temporary. Ours is uh, one, ours is ruled by peace as the brother's going into. Esau is ruled by war. And good point. Remember the video we just watched before the, uh, the, the video? The video we was watching before mm -hmm. we decided yeah. to do a video? Um, that uh, the, the one of the Rothschilds says that uh, he was being interviewed. I forgot by another devil, but he was interviewing him. And he says, so what do you think um, Israel is going to be 100 years from now? Well, we're going to have to try to uh, find a, a, a peaceful solution uh, against war. A hundred years from now, you're still going to be fighting a war? Damn. These devils can't do nothing right. We, I thought we's, we's the bums. You call us all these bywords and proverbs. I thought we's the, the, 
the ones that are dumb, we don't go to school, we drop out early at an early age. I, I thought, come on, y'all got to do better than that. Y'all got all the world in your head. The world is in your head, right? You got to do good. Mm -hmm. uh, Isaiah 2 and 2. Yeah, read that again. I was just going to bring a precept to back you up. It says, and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of Yahweh's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow into it. Okay, this is Isaiah 60 verse 12. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 12. For the nation and kingdom that will now serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. So if any, once a thousand years when the Lord establishes it and brings you other nations back into your proper lands, Okay, proper lands. He's gonna. Uh, he, okay, if you break our laws, statute, commandments, guess what? We got the right to put you to death. All right. But the only race of people, okay, that are not that have not found no place of repentance, and you guessed it, is Esau, the so-called white man. Come on, man. Like, you can't make it up. It's just a fact. It's something. This will just easily run off your mouth on, as far as that. Yep. And it says all nations shall flow into it. Because you might have somebody that see this. Uh, you might have somebody that see this lesson and say, well, y'all going to have war too. Now we're not going to have war. The brother just brought out that there will be certain instances where you may have certain nations like Esau that still want to be rebellious. But in the majority, all nations are going to flow into it. Why? Because they're going to see the benefit in it. Right. All right. Where Esau, there's no benefit in flowing into him, man. Well, well, this matter of fact, since you mentioned that, this is what Esau does to the nation. Oh, real, real quick, let me. Go on, go on. You know, you know, because with these other nations, you know, there's no benefit of flowing into Esau. All right, the women uh, come up against them. Okay, you, you got concrete now. You got Esau's laws. Homosexuals run rampant in your, in your uh, economy now. The economy is, uh, you know, being ran into the ground. So there's no benefit. You got that. Con. This is um, Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4 Behold his, his soul which is lifted up Is not upright in him But the just shall live by his faith Verse 5 Yea also because he transgresseth by wine He is a proud man Neither keepeth at home Who enlargeth his desire as hell His desire is what Send up democracy and more more death all right, and, and, re and death really represents those uh, nations. His desire represents those nations. He desires to have everybody under their clutches. That's why the RFID microchip is why it's important to bring out these prophecies because that's what's going to lead to um, anybody that takes that mark is going to be put to death. If you're an Israelite or not, if the Lord, well, yeah, but if the if, if you're an Israelite taking that chip, guess what? You're done. Okay, um, and cannot be satisfied, but gather unto him all nations and heapeth them. Heapeth unto him all people. How you think he got to the Battle of Decoration? He got people to agree. The British War Cabinet, he got all these people to agree. Okay, Germany is a problem to us. Let's get them out of here. And they, they did it. They heaped up people. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Okay, all right. It's going to work out like this and this and that. And guess what? They succeeded in doing that. It wasn't by his power. The Lord is the one that orchestrated all that. You got it. Back at uh, Isaiah chapter 2. In verse uh, three, three right. and yeah. many people shall go and say, "Come and and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and He will teach us of His ways, and we will walk in His paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of Yahweh from Jerusalem, and He shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people." All right, because they're going to see. All right, this is where Israel lives. This land is beautiful. This is where we live. This land is fucked up. You know, how can we, you know what I'm saying? How, how can how can we get like y'all, you know? And this also too, and the reason why too, can I just bring out this precept right quick? Isaiah chapter 14 and verse um, five. And I'm gonna read it verse six, two and seven. The Lord have broken the staff of the wicked, right? The staff represents the rulership because when you have a rod or a staff in your hand, it represents or symbolizes that you're in rulership and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. And that's why when a brother read that right here, that all nations are going to be like, wow, finally peace. Okay, we're underneath the Israelites the way it should be. And now underneath Esau, which destroys the earth. Okay, and takes life instead of giving life. He that ruled, well, we're really going to have the life. So, Salakio on that. He who smote the people 
in wrath with a continual stroke, not a temporary stroke, but a continual stroke. He that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. <laughs> so even the other nations are going to be like, whew. It's like, whew. like taking a sword, like about time. You know, it's like when on a hot day, you go going underneath the air conditioner. You're like, ah. Oh. You know what I'm saying? It'd be hot as hell, sticky as shit. You'd be like, you know, they take a nice little shower, go underneath the air conditioner. You'd be like, oh, man, about time. It's even going to be even, that's just nothing. I'm just making a, uh, you know. Paris. Yeah. And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. And they shall beat their swords and the plowshares. And their spirits in the puny hooks, nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. Right. So meaning, if if you claim in 1948 as a um as a state, okay, uh, as a state of Israel, why are there still wars? If you're the people, where are all the tribes at? We want to know where's every other tribe at. All right, one one witchcraft they they attempt to do is to heap up people into themselves, so that way they can make these imposters look like they're God's people. Try to follow certain ceremonial laws and stuff like that. The Lord don't want to hear that. All right, the brother just read in Joel or uh, Joel uh, Joel three two that beat your plowshares into um into um spears. Now it's a reversal. Now the war is mm -hmm. talking about is World War three. So that's a reversal now. Well, you're not going to go to war with a plowshare. All right? You understand? Matter of fact, let me just grab that right quick. Just to pr uh, prove the point right quick. Let me go to Joel chapter 3. Yeah, I believe it's verse 9. Yeah, it is. This is Joel chapter 3, verse 9. Check this out. And verse 10. Proclaim me this among the Gentiles. These other nations prepare war. Make a, wake, wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Okay, North Korea, Russia, you name it. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares and the swords. Now read that part again. Not Isaiah 2 and 4. It says, And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords and the plowshares and their spears and the pruning hooks. Look, it's a reverse. Look. Mm -hmm. reverse. But beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I'm strong. These other weaker nations. So it's the reverse. That's how you know these are prophecies. It's talking about, this is talking about World War Three and Joel, and that's talking about when we in the kingdom. Okay? Ain't gonna be no more wars. So, baffle of decoration, I'm, I like breaking this news to you, but you're not the people of the most high, okay? When I say baffle of decoration, it's pretty much, uh, it's going against all these damn Edomites. We setting our face against Mount Seir. We don't care, man. We, we already know you devils are always up to something tricky, man. We could have actually went into this book here. We could have got, oh, man, about 1917, uh, uh, the British War Cabinet, how they sent letters and stuff like that, Lord Rothschild and stuff like that, and going into even this, this damn devil in this book, Facts of Facts, pretty much uh, bombards you with information going against y'all. Yeah, man, so the point was made, you know, Balfour Declaration, Esau's, it's Esau's way of seeking repentance, but as we know, he has so, he has found no place for repentance. Right. The only place of repentance for him slavery. is slavery. <laughs> All right, and that's just what it is. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord wrote this uh, story that way. Right. Hey, so with that, you know, Lord willing, you I can edify. You want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kapadash, that by honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. Shalom.